In this video, I am going to show you 20 Photoshop tips and tricks for beginners. Fixing underexposed images. A quick way to fix an underexposed image in Photoshop is to use the shadows and highlights adjustment feature. To access the feature, click image, select adjustments, select shadows and highlights. Photoshop will automatically make adjustments to the image. A quick way to duplicate a layer is to hold down the Alt key and drag the layer to duplicate it. How to hide multiple layers. If you are working with multiple layers and you would like to hide all the layers except one, here is a simple way. Press and hold the Alt key and click the eye icon next to the layer you want to remain visible. To turn all the layers back on, follow the same steps. Multiple undos. Pressing the Ctrl Z allows you to undo one change in Photoshop. However, if you would like to undo multiple changes, press Ctrl Alt Z. How to increase the history state. By default, the history state is set to 50. This means the history panel stores only the last 50 steps that you have performed. You can increase the history state by going to Edit, Performance, and increasing the history state. Keep in mind that maxing out the history state can affect Photoshop's performance. Placing an image inside of text. There is an easy way to place an image inside of text. Move the image layer above the text layer, hold down the Alt key, and click the line between the two layers in the layer panel to clip the image to the text. How to detect skin tone. If you want to make a color adjustment to skin tone, there is an easy way to try to detect the skin tone to make the selection. Click Select, click Color Range, from the color range panel, select skin tone. You can also check face detection to help make a more defined selection. How to color code layers. If you are working with multiple layers, one way to organize the layers is to color code them. To color code the layer, right click on the eye icon of the layer you wish to color code. From the menu, select one of the colors. Sampling colors outside of Photoshop. If you want to use the same color of something that is outside of Photoshop, a simple way to do this is to select the eyedropper tool, click and hold the mouse button, then drag the eyedropper over the color. If you look at the swatches panel, you will see the color is changing as I drag the eyedropper tool over the different colors. To select the color, just release the mouse button, changing the canvas color. Sometimes you are working on an image and it blends into the Photoshop canvas. To correct the problem, you can change the canvas color by pressing space F on the keyboard. Or you can choose a custom color by right clicking on the canvas, then choosing select custom color. Then select your color. Quickly removing color. If you want to quickly remove all the color from an image, press Ctrl Shift U. Creating a custom workspace. Once you set up your workspace exactly the way you want it, you can save it in case something gets messed up. You can quickly go back. To the way you had it. To create the custom menu, click Windows, select Workspace, click New Workspace. Give the workspace a name. Select Keyboard Shortcut, Menu and Toolbar if you made changes to any of these and you would like to save these changes to the custom workspace. Then click OK. So now if your workspace gets messed up, 
You can simply reset everything using the custom workspace you just created. Replacing color. If you have a well-defined object and would like to change the color, you can use the color replacement tool. Go to the toolbar. Under the brush tool, select the color replacement tool. From the tools option panel, change the mode to color. Change the tolerance to 40%. Change the foreground to the replacement color. Then paint over the color you want to change. Moving layers. If you are working with multiple layers and would like to arrange the order of the layers, you can use a shortcut key. Select the layer you would like to move. Press Ctrl plus the right or left bracket key to move the layer up or down. Pen Tool Assistance. When using the pen tool, you cannot see where the path of the pen will be placed. However, there's a setting you can change that will allow you to see the path of the pen tool. Once you select the pen tool, go up to the tools option, click the gear icon and check rubber band. Now when you're using the pen tool, you will see the path. Accessing an older version of Photoshop. There's a way in Photoshop CC that you can install a previous version of Photoshop. Click Help. Click Updates. The Adobe Creative Cloud application will open. Look for Photoshop. Click the down arrow next to open. Click Other Version. Now you can install an older version of Photoshop. Zoom using the scroll wheel. Instead of using the shortcut key to zoom, you can use the scroll wheel on your mouse. If you press and hold the Alt key and use the scroll wheel on the mouse, you can zoom in and out of the document. Full screen. If you are working in Photoshop and want to view the document you are working with in full screen, press the Tab key, then press the F key twice. To go back to the regular mode, Press the F key, then the Tab key. Open in a flat PSD file. We know that PSD files can get pretty big. If you want to open a PSD file just to view it without showing each layer, click File, click Open, browse to the PSD file you want to open, press and hold the Shift key, then click on the PSD file. This will open a flat version of the PSD file. Filtering layers. If you are working on a document that has multiple layers and want to quickly see all the text or shape layers, all you have to do is go over to the tool panel. To the top, you will see a search option. Make sure kind is selected. To the right, you will see some icons. The first icon, if clicked, will only show you the image layers. The next one will show you all the adjustment layers. The third, all the text layers. The fourth, the shape layers. The fifth, the smart object layers. So that is 20 Photoshop tips and tricks. If you found this information helpful, please like the video. And if you are new to this channel, I would love to have you subscribe. I upload new Photoshop tutorials every week. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.